It is four o'clock in the morning. I'm on my way heading back to Sacramento airport. I was scared I wasn't gonna make my flight. So like I literally like I couldn't sleep. I couldn't like fall asleep. So I ended up just staying awake all night, editing videos. I feel like such a crackhead. <laughs> I'm like gonna have the worst anxiety on the plane today, but hopefully I'll be able to sleep. I also wanted to show you guys, I was here for three days and I'm not even joking. I ate three boxes of Domino's like veggie vegan pizzas, like literally the whole thing. Been gone. And I, yes, I am here by myself. <laughs> and my hotel room is like kind of a wreck. I need to finish packing really quick, but I need to be downstairs. Look how cute my hotel room is. It has like pink, um, stripes or whatever on the walls and I just thought it was like really cute the way they decorated it and stuff and like they have like fun wallpaper and then like a little sitting area here um so yeah I'm like so super tired I'm gonna go brush my teeth and splash water on my face and then get dressed and head down to take my ass to the airport to go home to see Travis, which I'm really excited about seeing Travis, but I'm only home for like one day and then I'm flying to Iowa to go see my friend who just had a baby. So literally just traveling a lot and I'm tired and this, I'm like not good on no sleep. When I was on like my layover, <clears throat> um, sorry, they gave me medicine at the hospital and so now it's like hard for me to think straight, but I was having like this really bad pain like on my, like in my back on the left side, like kind of like where my kidney is. And it was just like so bad that like my vision started getting blurry and like I felt like I was gonna throw up and I was like kind of sweating. And this pain like wouldn't go away and I was hoping I'd be able to sleep on the airplane because I didn't sleep last night because so I was scared I was gonna miss my flight and it was the pain was so bad I couldn't sleep on the plane and so when I got off the plane like the pain just kept getting worse and worse and so I called my mom and I'm like mom I'm having this like awful pain I feel like I'm gonna throw up and she's like you need to go to the emergency room or we went to the emergency room they did like x-rays and ran a bunch of tests and stuff I guess like because I had back surgery a few times, like my back's all jacked up, but from like sitting, I guess, on the plane for like too long, something like happened with the muscles, musculoskeletal, um, what the heck, which had Muscular skeletal system. Something happened in my back with like the muscles that like made it so it causes like really bad pain that's like constant and doesn't go away. It's like, dude, this has last like five hours. Like, when is it gonna stop? She's like, oh, it can last three to five days. The doctor was like super nice, super nice, but like, I was like, three to five days. Like, I'm supposed to be going to visit like one of my girlfriends that just had a baby. Like, anyways, we thought it was like kidney stones or like kidney infection. We weren't sure what it was, but so far, um, they gave me like they wanted to give me like this shot for pain, but I was like, oh hell no. Oh my god, look at this yeah. car. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Do you guys see this? Sorry, Travis's car is really dirty, but like, what in the world? I've seen a car like that before. Um, so my pain is clearly better now. I was trying to film in the hospital, but we were preoccupied because clearly it was the last thing I was thinking about was trying to bust my camera out. Um, but uh, yeah, so they gave me half of a muscle relaxer and I've never taken one before because I'm too scared, but it's like makes me kind of feel funny. And I don't, I guess when I watch this video back, I'll know if I'm like acting different or something, but it's supposed to make you really sleepy, which is good because I want to try to sleep when I get home. And um, my back pain is getting better, so that's really good. So I'm just now like literally feeling it like get better. And uh, that's been my day so far. So I'm very happy to be home with Travis. Poor Travis, like, picks me up from the airport and it's like fucking all hell breaks loose as soon as my girlfriend gets home. Poor guy has to deal with this hot mess 
over here. Anyways, so we're on the way home. I'm gonna try to relax and eat some food and get some rest. I feel like I'm like on drugs. Like right now, but I am. And so <laughs> maybe I should stop filming or <clears throat> maybe I should stop vlogging because I'm starting to feel really funny right now. Yeah, you need to lay down and you need to eat something. I mean, it's like the first thing that I said is if you haven't laid down, you've been on a plane, you got no sleep last night, you had to get up at 4.30 or leave your hotel at 4.30 or whatever, so you're tired, you haven't slept, you haven't eaten, I mean, you've been on a plane, like it just, it all adds up. Yeah, and up. if that wasn't bad enough, then I get this musculoskeletal bullshit happening in my back, and... And on top of that, I got my period, and I have period cramps. It's just a wonderful day in the life of Shannon today. But we're going to stay positive because we always make the best out of bad situations. There's an ambulance right next to me that's following us home just in case something happens. Because I'm just like VIP like that. Oh, you guys, I'm joking. That's not for me. But if something ever happens to you, you always like an emergency situation or somebody that you know or a family member or whatever. Always call 911 and make sure the fire department ambulance comes to take you to the hospital. You do not want somebody that's not part of the fire department um, like picking you up in an emergency situation. And I'll tell you why. Most of the time it will always be the fire department because the 911 calls transfer to them, but sometimes they'll, if they're busy, they'll like send out to another company. Um, the fire department has paramedics and they're way more like better trained. I can't like think properly right now. They're, they're much better trained. Yes, they're, they're <laughs> well more educated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just read the after me. They're educated more much than... Much more educated. They're much more educated. You guys, I'm on drugs. Please don't judge me that I can't talk right now. They're much more educated than like just regular EMTs that are basic EMTs like what I was. Paramedics like are allowed to give all kinds of drugs and stuff. EMTs are not allowed to give drugs. Um, all we know is how like basic life saving stuff. That's just a tip. I don't know where that came from. It just made me think of it when the ambulance was crossing. I like am so scared to take any types of like pills or medication that when I do take them, especially because I don't like I weigh like 100 pounds, they like affect me very like more. <laughs> they affect me more. So like I feel like my back mm, kind of hurts a little bit, but it's like nothing what it was. I'm so glad I'm feeling better. I was not feeling good earlier. Like I literally thought I was gonna throw up all of this poor guy that was sitting next to me. When you get a bad pain like that, sometimes if you're in a lot of pain, you will feel like you're gonna throw up. I don't know, I really I had like, <clears throat> I went off the plane and I was like, don't throw up, don't throw up, don't throw up. And like, I was gonna try to go to the bathroom, like a, the, the first, soonest bathroom that I could find. And I, could, I couldn't find a fucking bathroom. And I was like, you know, it was hard for me to think straight, so I just like, like jetted outside, like to like where people pick you up to get outside. That way, I could like just throw up outside, and it wasn't like inside. I'd feel better if I threw up outside. And I'm like sitting there, and I'm like in so much pain, and I'm like trying like to not throw up. And this guy next to me starts like, "Hi, where are you from?" And I'm like, "Oh, I just moved to Folsom." And like I'm trying to like keep it together, like why this guy is like trying to be nice and talk to me. He was like this older man, and. Um, he was like smoking a cigarette and it was like making me even more nauseous like smelling the cigarette smoke and he, and he like literally we had like a 15 minute conversation because somebody was a little late picking me up from the airport no biggie normal days I would like care less but this day I needed to go to the emergency room straight off the airplane so I was like you know kind of annoyed that he was not there on time but whatever I don't really care now and I feel good we just got back to go I made Shannon some food, so she get some food in her system, and she needs she just needed to lay down because her back was really hurting bad, and she usually lays down like every you know four or five hours or something because of her bad back. So anyways, so she's sleeping in the other room, real quiet and everything. We're gonna take good care of her and make sure she gets better, and feels better. So 
she took the muscle relaxer and got pretty tired. She didn't get any sleep last night because she had to wake up super early. So she's getting some rest now. And look at this. Does this look weird? Me walking backwards? Looks like it's going in reverse motion. Anyways, all right. Enough of this. Me screwing around. Let's go. Let's go spy on her real quick and be real creepy looking. Real, real creepy. What? What happened? You being sleepy beauty, sleeping beauty, sleepy beauty. What is it? The sleepy beauty. I love you. I love you in the night. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let you rest. You see this hot picture? Mm -hmm. this. Mm. Love that picture. Did you guys see that picture? Or those pictures? That's me. Oh, I just banged my knee. Okay, so enough of that. I will say over and out for now, and we'll talk with you guys later.